Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, uh, or welcome if you've never been here before. My name is Charlotte, it's nice to meet you. Um, and today I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow declutter. Um, I haven't done this in a while, but I counted and I have 30 palettes. Which honestly to me doesn't seem like a lot, but I still feel like I can tailor that down so that I can use all of my palettes and love them. Because right now they're not getting an equal amount of love, so maybe I could give them to people who really want them and deserve them and will treasure them that way. So I've divided them up by size. So I think I'm going to start with like the medium sized palettes. I'll explain what I mean. Like the Anastasia Beverly Hills size palettes. <laughs> First palette in this stock is my Dose of Colors Desi and Katie palette. I don't love this palette as much as other people do, but it was still very expensive and I really do like the shimmer shades have trouble blending the mattes in here, weirdly enough, I do. Um, so I'm going to keep this for these gorgeous shimmer shades. I mean, these shimmer shades are, are something else, so yeah. I'm going to keep this because it was like $55, so we're going to keep her and try to use her more. I zoomed out a little bit. Okay, so the next one is the Soph X Revolution Extra Spice Palette. I never had the original. This is like her second palette with Makeup Revolution. Um, and I really like this palette a lot. <laughs> um, I love the silver shade in here. Like, it is just unreal. Um, and there are a bunch of other pretty, like, fall shades in here. So I'm going to keep her. I don't use her that often, but I want to. So I'm going to keep her. Also, it's like one of my only, like, drugstore palettes. Next, I have this Instant Eye Palette by Charlotte Tilbury, and this was ungodly expensive. Um, I got this as a Christmas present. I did want it at the time, um, but I just never used this palette because it's just really boring. And um, I guess it's just, there's not a lot there. Like, it's just kind of dull. You can't, like, you can barely see what's going on in this palette um so i think i'm gonna pass this on as much as this hurts me because i know this was like a 75 dollar palette i just honestly never use her and i feel like because she's so neutral like i know a few people who could use the crap out of her so we will just put her in the bye bye pile <laughs> the bye bye pile this is the Too faced sweet peach palette i remember how hard I fought to get this palette in the first place. Um, you guys, I'm sure you guys know what this guy looks like. This is my last Too Faced palette, I think. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of her. Um, she still smells quite fragrantly. I got, uh, this is from like my senior year of high school and I'm in my senior year of college, so. like it's, it's time for her um, she's reached the end of her life this is an even older palette which is the master palette by Mario it actually might be the same age but this is my favorite eyeshadow palette in my collection the shade marina in here I'm not even gonna swatch it because it's my favorite eyeshadow in it I hit pan in it um, this is one of the last palettes that Anastasia Beverly Hills hand pressed um, instead of using machines to press their shadows and they're just so beautiful they blend themselves honestly like you could just like <sighs> I feel like someone who didn't know how to do eyeshadow could just put these on their eye and it would just blend magically because that's how magic these are these could be like rotting and I would still keep it that's disgusting but I love this palette so 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 much next we have the sultry palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills I use this a lot when traveling because it's got some good neutrals in here. I definitely, I used to have like a really big obsession with Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, but not as much anymore. But I still like this palette and I'm going to keep it. But I'm kind of falling out of love with AVH palettes. <sighs> can't explain it. Okay. Next we have Soft Glam, which... I got this my freshman year, I think, and look, this one is really pretty. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna keep this one as well because I love her. 
I just, I just can't get rid of her yet. But that is Soft Glam. I think Modern Renaissance has met its end. Um, she definitely got some use back in the day, though I have cleaned her since. But I can tell that since I cleaned her, um, she's gotten absolutely no use, so that's a good sign that it's maybe time to let something go. Um, I really loved the shade Bon Fresco. That was my favorite shade in this palette. I have a lot of very good memories because this was this was revolutionary for the time, but I think, you know, it's time that, you know, maybe she can go on to someone else or maybe I just have to throw her out, find a way to recycle her. I don't know, but I, I thank you for your service. But I have not used that palette in so long. Okay, next I have the Chill Baby palette by Kylie Cosmetics. This was Christmas 2018, and I actually really like this palette. Um, I've used the crap out of this shade Mrs. Claus. Sorry, I'm trying to let it so you can see the colors. Um, I just really love everything Christmas themed, um, and so I do <laughs> use this palette from time to time, and I don't think I'm quite ready to get rid of her because I just, I love Christmas stuff. And I really ended up liking the shimmer in, in this palette. Like, it was so pretty. Also, these are removable, so if I wanted to, um, I could take out just the shades I liked. Oh, it's so pretty! Um, definitely Kylie's palettes are hit or miss, but this one was a hit for me. So I'm going to put that one in the keep. Next, we have the Kylie Valentine's Day palette from 2019. Yeah, I think so. This is what this one looks like. I remember I gave one of these to my best friend, Ashley. Um, so she also has this palette, and I really love the shimmers in here. They're just really, really pretty. Um, so I'm going to keep this palette for all those shimmers, but I also like this shade, Pink Problems. Um, I really, I, I do like the color scheme. I think this is really pretty. So I'm gonna keep her. This palette I got for free and I meant to donate it and it just hasn't happened yet. So it's time that she, she goes to someone because she's just been sitting with my stuff, just, just, just sitting there. So we're gonna get rid of her because I've never even opened her. She's sealed because I just knew I didn't want that. Okay, so this one is the Marc Jacobs 800 Flamboyant palette, and this has the most gorgeous shimmers in here. Like, these are insane. Like, oh. I'm just gonna cover myself in eyeshadow, but yeah, these are insane, so I'm definitely keeping this one. I just need to remind myself to use her. This one is the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. The shimmers in here are gorgeous. I love them a lot. I got this pretty recently, so I'm gonna keep her. Next is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. And I used to really, really love this guy, but I think it's time for her to go. You know, like she has I just don't use her very often anymore. So I think she's gonna go in the Bye Bye palette. A lot of people really liked this palette. I did too, it's got a really good formula. I just don't find myself reaching for this often. I rarely do all matte looks anyway, as I'm wearing an all matte eyeshadow look. But um, I just don't think I'm gonna use this. Okay, next I have this Exaggerize Charlotte Tilbury little quad, and this is actually so pretty. Um, so I'm gonna keep this specifically for this shade right here, which is the, I don't know if this is the pop. Yeah, maybe it's the pop, but it looks like diamonds on your eyes. It reminds me of uh, Ritz by ColourPop, which is my favorite <laughs> like cosmetics product of all time. Um, but I'm gonna keep this little quad right there. I have the ColourPop Lilac You A Lot palette. I really didn't use this as much as I thought I was going to. Um, I really reached for a different palette with purple in it when I want purple. Um, but I don't... 
know who I could give this to who would want the purple eyeshadows because there's not really a lot you can do in here that's not purple. I'm gonna think about this one. This one goes in the maybe pile. This is the Dear Santa palette by Kylie Cosmetics. This guy has been abused because I love this palette so much. Um, again, I just really like the Kylie Christmas palettes. They're not the best quality, but I just, I'm addicted to Christmas, so I really find myself, okay, my skin is just like really fucking up the focus here. Hello, I'm a person. This I just got and I'm definitely not getting rid of. I'm wearing this on my eyes right now, the Pure Raw Beauty Christie double-sided situation. Um, so keeping her. Next we've moved on to the large palettes. <laughs> so here we have Conspiracy by Jeffree Star. Um, I am no longer going to purchase Jeffree Star products. Um, I made that decision shortly after I bought this palette in November. I've just been like, I thought I could ignore a lot of the bad stuff he's done because I was like, it's just makeup, it's not that deep. Um, but I realized I was wrong. Um, and when you buy something from a bad person, you are actively um, saying that you support their actions, and that you agree with what they're doing, and I don't agree with what he's doing. So I am not going to be giving any more money to Jeffree Star. But at the same time, I don't want to throw away products that I've already purchased. Um, that's not a sustainable way to live, and I do love the quality. Of a lot of these products so while I won't show them on my channel um, to like encourage people to buy them I am not going to get rid of them <laughs> so anyway um, but I'll show these palettes just for the declutter series um, this one is conspiracy which I didn't love the formulation of this palette um, a whole lot I didn't <laughs> um, I'm gonna keep this one because I really like this neutral row up here um, even though I don't use a lot of the other shades because I just find that it's clear that Shane, I don't really support Shane either anymore, um, doesn't have a comprehensive knowledge of color theory. Um, and you can just see how jumbled and how difficult a lot of these shades would be to use together because they're not complementary in any way. Um, so it just feels very jumbled outside of that neutral row. Um, but I'm gonna keep her because she was expensive and I don't wanna throw it away. Here is my Natasha Denona matte, all matte. I was trying to figure out what that said up there. Um, Safari palette. This was extremely overpriced. Um, probably shouldn't have bought this in the first place, but I'm not going to get rid of her now. And I do think that this formula works beautifully. It's just not worth $129 worth. Um, but I do use this pretty frequently when I'm looking for matte shadows. So I'm obviously going to keep her. I use this a lot when I used to freelance on people, um, back when Corona wasn't a thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep this baby. Next is a palette I've actually really fallen in love with and used a lot, which you wouldn't be able to tell because um, I'm pretty neat with my palettes. Um, but this is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette, and I actually just really, really love the formula of the shadows in here. I think they're beautiful, except for the glitters. They're kind of weird. Um, but I've been doing like a lot of sunset-y kind of looks with this, and... <laughs> I also love this shade up here, Perfectionist. Um, I use that all the freaking time, so it's just, I really like this palette, so I'm gonna keep her. And doesn't Jaclyn Hill just look like a saint now compared to everyone else? Next we have Tati Beauty, and I don't know if I'm supposed to not show Tati Beauty on my channel anymore, but this is oh, one of my favorite palettes. The formula in here. It's just beautiful. It is so stunning. And this is one of my most used palettes because this is just a foolproof, gorgeous, 
I, I don't use the glitters that often unless I am doing something really dramatic. But I did a beautiful shoot um, with the shadows on a bunch of different skin tones. And I just love them. This one up here on really dark skin tones looks just stunning. Um, I just love how there are colors in here for absolutely everyone. Um, it's got that massive, just great quality mirror. Like, hello. Um, so yeah, <laughs> definitely not getting rid of this palette. But it'll be interesting how public opinion shifts on Tati Westbrook. Um, I don't know where to stand on that issue. Next we have Blood Sugar. Same, same deal. I'm not going to get rid of this one. Um, I have used this palette a lot. I love this like gelée formula he has with his shimmers. Um, so I've absolutely just abused that shade Donor. Um, and this white shade used to be like the only white in my collection I really, really liked. But thankfully that Rob Beauty Christie palette has an amazing, amazing white that I can use. So, and I'm going to keep this palette because I do love her. <laughs> um, and again, it's not sustainable to just throw things away because we don't want to purchase from that company anymore. <laughs> Jawbreaker. <laughs> Obviously, I have a lot of Jeffree Star um, palettes, um, but you know, it's really sad because I love this shade, Snack. It's like one of my favorite eyeshadows um, in my collection. These are really, really good quality, but you know, don't buy it. Okay. Alien. This is such a pain in the ass, this door, honestly. Um, but these shades look really good on me because I am so fair and this is so cool toned. Um, this is just a dream to work with for me, personally. I love this shade in here, Moon Rock and Probe. But you know, don't buy it. Um, okay, we have the Chloe Morello. I think that was all of my Jeffree Star. We have the Chloe Morello Ciate Pretty Fun and Fearless palette. And I'm. it's time that this guy says goodbye. <laughs> I got this my freshman year, I think is when this came out. And there's nothing wrong with this palette. I'm just not inspired by this color story. Um, yeah, and I just, I don't think I've touched this in years. So, um, I'm, yeah, it, this, this guy has reached his, his life with me. So I'm going to probably give this to someone. Um, because the people in my life don't seem to care about makeup expiry dates anyway, so. This one's gonna be hard. This is the Too Faced Natural Love palette. And I used to love this palette. Sorry, this is... I used to love this palette so, so much. Um, and I used to do a lot of... Whenever I would do anyone else's makeup, I would use this palette. I just don't find myself... There's so many shimmers in here, and I just don't know that I work with that many shimmers, and I don't... This one's really difficult for me, because this is such a pretty palette, I mean, and I did use this for a long time. This is like the perfect palette if you did a lot of wedding makeup, but anyway, um... I think it's time for her to leave. I'm sorry. This is another one that is just so old. And I don't even know what to do with this. Like, cool, what? This is the chunkiest palette. And what always confused me about this, like you open it up and you're like, oh, the palette's gonna be in here. But no, 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 no. This is just a butterfly. Why? I, I don't know. The actual palette is this drawer that you can just slide out. And the shades in here are really spectacular and beautiful. I just never reach for them because of this packaging. Um, so yeah, I'm sad, but I think it's time that this guy 
because this is really old. This, I don't even know what year. I'm trying to see if there's a, I don't, yeah, I don't think that, that this, <laughs> this is definitely not still good, um, but I, I need to get rid of her. I just, hopefully I can recycle this. Maybe if I can take the mirror out, I can try and recycle this stuff because I just don't think anyone would want this because it's really old. So finally, my last palette I'm definitely going to keep. This is the Moon Spell by Lunar Beauty. I still have it in the sleeve because I don't know, I just like it. Um, I still haven't gotten to the bottom of why my shadows kind of smell. They've always smelled just kind of weird. They're just kind of interesting. Um, but these, that was weird. These are the purples I reach into when I want a purple eye. I love the shade Phoebe. I love the neutral row in here, and I do also like the greens in here. They're very, 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 very pretty. I want to try more from Lunar Beauty because I'm just continuously impressed with what I have tried from them. So, I'm going to keep her, and with that, um, that is all of my eyeshadow. I'm getting rid of 10 palettes, which is a third of my collection, which I think is pretty impressive. Um, so that was my eyeshadow collection and declutter. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I hope you guys are doing really well and staying safe and inside. Um, have a really awesome day. Also, are you also addicted to eyeshadow? Let me know. Do you have a problem? Because I have a problem. <laughs>